It is time for some badge removal. So I've grabbed the hairdryer, a few other things, and we're gonna take uh, one, two, three, four, I think, badges off of the Tacoma. I'll show you that. If it goes like it always has before, and I don't think they've done anything new with this next gen Tacoma, I hope not. It should be a pretty easy procedure. What I'm gonna do, we're going to remove these. Um, they just don't look right on there. Matter of fact, they even look crooked to me. Something's just whacked about these stickers. Uh, and I'm not a big sticker fan from the factory anyway. So we're going to heat those up, hopefully just peel them off. Uh, it should be that easy, I hope. And then, of course, we're going to remove the Tacoma badging because I know it's a Tacoma. I don't need letters on the side telling me that. Nothing wrong with them. If you like them, that's all good. And typically these things uh, leave a lot of adhesive, always ruins my thumbs. I'm almost recovered from the last blister I did on the RAV4 out there. So hopefully, since the truck's so new, they're gonna come off pretty darn easily. Now, there is one badge, of course, that we have, and that is on the back. Obviously, I'm not removing that. You really can't remove it. And of course, I'm talking about the Tacoma across the tailgate. It did come with black inserts. Uh, I may actually remove those and do something else. I kind of like the uh, camouflage ones that I had on the other truck. So I may do something like that. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just leave the black ones. But anyway, let's get started. We're going to go ahead and pull these things off. Okay, I've uh, heated it up a bit and done kind of a little bit of a test pull on it. And this is different than what I've experienced in the past. This white uh, bottom layer seems to be separating from the top layer, this white lettering part. Uh, so I'm going to heat it up some more. I don't want to use my fingernails really any more than I have to because you know that's a great way to scratch up your paint. And I am not looking to do that. So let me get some more heat on it and then we'll... Uh, Actually, I'll probably put some heat on it while I'm doing it, so I'll let you see. The hair dryer is quite hot, I must say. And you can see that white part is just wanting to stick on there comes off pretty easy. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it with my nail, uh, which is a good thing. But nonetheless, I still am using my fingernail, and I don't like that. See if I can get an edge. Yeah, it just wants to tear. So that's kind of a bummer. I hope the whole thing isn't that way. That is definitely different than what I've experienced in the past. So you get the idea. I'm going to kind of heat and go. Uh, so it's going to be a rather lengthy process it looks like. Uh, so let me get at it and then I'll show you uh, once I get towards the end. Alright, there's the pile of what I was able to get off so far. And here's what I'm left with. What a freaking mess. Um, this is definitely different. This feels like a paper. Uh, background or something I don't know or backing uh, along with adhesive here so it's like there's still I don't know like a papery kind of material uh, underneath so I don't know how easy that's going to be to get off I'm gonna try goo gone see if it soaks through and releases it okay it is off as you can see might have a little bit of adhesive left there, maybe. I don't know. have to look at that. 
Uh, but anyway, it came off pretty well. I will tell you it is definitely different uh, than my previous experiences doing this. Uh, my final steps, clean off the Goo Gone, and I use quite a bit, uh, with just a soapy water mix, and then I'm waxing over it with just a spray wax just to protect it because, of course, the Goo Gone would have removed uh, all of the wax that might have been on it anyway. I doubt there was any wax on it, actually. But that's it. Now we have to move on to the other side. I'll show you that once I'm all done. All right, we've got the uh, passenger side off, and I've got to say this was by far worse than the driver's side. Almost all of the white stuff underneath the decal stayed on the truck. And when that happens, unfortunately, the Goo Gone can't penetrate down to the adhesive. So it makes it much, much harder to deal with, but it's done. And my fingers are a little sore. But we've got a soldier on because I told you we're going to do these Tacoma badges. So I'm going to heat these up. Man, I hope they're easier. Uh, and then I'm hoping that most of the adhesive, maybe all of it, I don't know, is going to pull right off. It feels pretty loose, I think, anyway. So we'll see. I don't know. We've got everything off now. If you look at the back of the emblem, you can see there's no adhesive on there, and that's because it all stuck to the truck. This adhe adhesive was easier, though. With a hairdryer and heating it up, I was able to just kind of pull away at it. Did take a long time because, of course, it broke, you know, every millimeter. Uh, but I was able to get all of it off, and it didn't leave much residue. There's a little bit. Now, right now, I have some Goo Gone on there, kind of soaking on the adhesive to get whatever's left off. You want to make sure that you do that. This is what the uh, ball of adhesive that uh, I pulled off with my fingernails uh, looks like. What a pain. So I'll let that sit, then I'll clean it off with some soapy water just like I did in the back, and then I'll just put some spray wax on it and that will be it. We'll call it a day. I can tell you that the emblems are not pinned in any way, so you don't have to worry about having holes in your truck if you try to take these off. Something Toyota could have changed with the next generation, but they did not. Uh, and there's no paint damage or anything else that I can see. So let me go ahead and get the other side done, and then I'll show you both sides in the complete finished product. Both sides are done. This is the passenger side. Came out really good as usual. It's all cleaned up, waxed and all that stuff. One more look, here is the uh, side of the bed with the TRD Tacky Sport Badge gone. Here's the other side, driver's side. And another quick look at the driver's side Tacoma badge that is now gone. Now, one thing I do want to mention, the uh, badges, this had the blackout package on it, this truck. And they are all black on the front. In other words, there's no, they're not an overlay. They're actually black badges on the front. Used to be Toyota provided a, an overlay on their blackout package. It wasn't really uh, a blacked out badge, I guess. It was a chrome badge with an overlay on it. No more. Maybe that's why they're so expensive now. I don't know. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Worth the hassle? It is for me. Uh, what do you think? Do you guys do this kind of stuff, getting rid of the badges or not? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.